Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Thank you to my new subscribers, and this is what y'all have been asking for quite some time now. Uh, but we, before we start, I wanted to talk about the the wrappers. Now, this is the egg roll wrapper. They use this for, you know, those Chinese egg rolls that's real thick. If you use this for lumpia, it will not work because when you go to fry it, it will, it may be crispy outside, but then the inner layers will be more on the chewy side. So you do not want to use this. Now, this is uh, actual lumpia wrapper yes it says egg roll you can use it for the egg roll too but this is lumpia wrapper and this is what you want because it's thin and it, and it will fry crispy you can use this brand this is another brand but uh this one is individually wrapped to avoid you tearing it i guess because this is super thin but uh, any of these two will work. There are other brands out there that you can use, but uh, just to be on the safe side, I will go with something that's, that has the word lumpia in, on it. It'll come frozen, so when you get ready to use it, you want to uh, remove it out of the plastic here. Just put it right on top. That's because uh, one, it was frozen, but still in the wrapper, the condensation it may pen penetrate the wrapper and, you know, cause it to tear easily or wrinkle up and all. Once again, get something that has the word lumpia on it because you can uh, guarantee that there will be crispiness. Guys, so this is where I'm going to have to do a voiceover. Right here, this is a pound of chicken breast, skinless. I'm just boiling it to rem remove some of the oils. Afterwards, I will rinse it and shred it and saute it in some fresh garlic and onions, which I did, but unfortunately, I forgot to hit record as I was doing it. So I didn't have that part of the video for y'all, but y'all know how to saute. Okay, in this one, I am just putting down a hand towel just to put under the cutting board. This will prevent the cutting board from sliding all over the place while I'm slicing and dicing and chopping up the, the vegetables. So yeah, if you're gonna deal with onions, the best thing to do is either to wash it, after you remove the outer layer paper, wash it in cold water or soak it in cold water this will prevent you from crying and here i use a whole bulk of garlic i like a lot of garlic and i just remove the outer paper again on this one and mashed it with my 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 cleaver here and it makes it a whole lot easier to remove the the paper from the garlic now again, the same thing with the garlic. If you want it sliced, diced, uh, minced, it, it doesn't matter how you cut it. it. It's all entirely up to you. You can, of course, use less garlic. I personally like a lot of garlic in my cooking, uh, whether I'm cooking beef, chicken, fish, uh, shrimp, it doesn't matter what. I... I normally use a whole bulk of garlic and fresh garlic it's good for you it's not only good for your heart it's um, antibiotic natural antibiotics from god y'all this is from god so if you're cooking the fresher the better all right so now we're going to start cutting up the vegetables it's up to you you can put any vegetable you want Whatever your vegetable preference is. Some put cilantro, some put Brussels sprouts, some put celery. I personally don't like celery, so that's why I don't put celery in. I think the only thing I ever use celery in is when I'm making the uh, dressing. But other than that, I don't, I'm not a celery eater. Bell pepper, yes, y'all. Bell pepper is my number one go-to veggie. In one of my recent videos, I made some short ribs adobo with some chicken wings and I had some bell peppers in it. By the way guys, if you're liking this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button for me. 
leave me a comment let me know what type of vegetables you like in your lumpia and once again thank you to my new subscribers you are the best now here we are going to cut up some cabbage you can use half a cabbage i personally just use the whole cabbage i cut it in half and then i cut that half into quarters it's up to you, whatever your preference is. If you prefer it diced in small pieces or... If you like it julienne style, long and thin, diced up, there's no wrong way to do it. Whatever your preference, I just like it this way. I do apologize for taking a while to get this video out to y'all. It's just been one hurdle after the other first. I didn't have any lumpias in this area. The closest place would be in Jackson, which is about a two hour drive. But my mother-in-law went to the commissary and she found some in the, at the commissary. She picked some up for me. So thank you again, mommy O. Then I try to record the video and you got someone in the background just yapping up a storm or watching TV. But it's not a problem because I can always do a voiceover as I'm doing right now. And I hope you all don't mind it. So this is the finished product after sauteing the shredded chicken with the garlic and onions. And here I am mixing all the vegetables together. This is the cabbage, the shredded cabbage. The bell peppers, and just to make life so much easier, this is a 10 ounce bag of matchstick carrots. I was lazy to cut the carrots, and y'all, yeah, so I just bought this. This is the lazy way, and I just used half a bag, so about five ounces. Just threw it in, mix it all together. Then here, I'm removing the sautéed chicken. I'm throwing it into, in together with the vegetables. This is where I will be mixing it. I put in the black pepper. It depends on how much black pepper you like. So it's more like pepper to taste. Um, I'm going to estimate I put about maybe um, a tablespoon of black pepper. That's because, you know, I do have a whole big bowl of uh, vegetables now the salt i put in about four heaping tablespoons of salt now the reason for this is because one the vegetables are raw and because the vegetables are raw and you have all that salt the salt will extract water from the vegetables leaving it uh, limp but yet al dente so when you go to fry it, it is not overcooked. When you bite into the lumpia, you will actually taste the freshness of the vegetable. And this is the last part where I put my, my seasoning. I don't, you can put whatever seasoning you want. If you want to put uh, uh, oyster sauce, as some do, some put soy sauce. I just use the salt. Uh, I don't, the reason why I don't put oyster sauce or um uh, soy sauce is because it's liquid and my end game is to extract as much liquid as i can from the vegetables and the meat this is the reason why i use all that salt so um afterwards i just leave it for a while and let the salt do its thing and we'll go from there okay so um, now i'm gonna put all the the filling the lumpia filling into this colander so that it can drain this colander is uh, pretty big actually i can fit that whole tub that that i mix the vegetables in i can fill it in there and it sits very well on top of the that bowl so you'll see what i do now So what I'm going to do is take this colander filled with all the vegetables in it, put it in the ball that fits perfectly, leave it in the refrigerator uncovered for about 
let's say four hours. Now you can see that the bowl is empty. So after four hours, I'll bring it out. Okay, so if you don't extract all that water from the vegetables and you don't drain this, then all that water will sit in together with the vegetables. So when you come wrap to wrap it, the wrappers will get too wet that it will be that it will tear easily. So the reason why you want to put it in a colander and then put it in the refrigerator for about three, four hours is to get rid of all that water. Okay, so when you get rid of all that water here, I'm going to go ahead and spill this out. I'm using one hand y'all so y'all have to forgive me. All right. Okay. Now remember these vegetables are still raw. I did not cook these. Now the reason why I do not cook my vegetables is because I like them al dente. So when you go to fry them, it will cook through the frying process without overcooking the vegetables. The whole reason for all the salt in here is because the salt will extract the water from the vegetables, which will um, kind of like soften the vegetables without cooking it. Because you will cook it when you fry it. After biting into the lumpia, after frying it, you will taste the freshness of the vegetables. It'll still have the al dente consistency without being overcooked. And now the wrapping begins. So this is the second wrapper that I showed you, or the first lumpia wrapper that I showed you, which is my favorite, actually. I use this because... Um, after I, pr I fry it, I will show you the difference between how this looks and the one that is individually wrapped. But this is my, my go-to wrapper. So I try to get the same amount in every, you know, the same amount of filling in every, um, in every wrapper, just to try to keep the size uniform. Also, as you can see, I am using eggs on it. This is a, I just cracked one egg into the bowl here. And um, you don't have to use eggs. Some use milk, some use just plain water. Some even take flour and dilute it with some water just to give it kind of like a pasty consistency to use that to seal the wrapper. There's no wrong way, I ain't knocking anybody. And, uh, but my preference is just, um,
And so when it comes to the frying part, I like to deep fry my lumpia because I've seen some videos where, you know, they only they limit the oil that they put into the frying pan so they have to cook the lumpia on one side for like five minutes and then flip it to the other side to brown cooking it another five minutes so you're looking about you know estimate 10 minutes swimming around in that oil just soaking it up for me the lesser time it has in the oil is uh, perfect because, like I said, my, my lumpia stays crispy for hours, and um, it's not oily at all. And while this batch is cooking up, I just wanted to once again thank you all for subscribing, for hitting that like button, for leaving a comment, and suggestions, or um hitting that notification bell, sharing it uh, with your friends and family. God bless you all. I thank you. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. Okay, so when you take out the lumpia from the oil, you want to stand it up in a bowl with a napkin. This will allow more oil to drip out. That way, your lumpia is not oily. You don't want to lay it down straight from the frying pan. If you lay it down straight from the frying pan, you're keeping the oil inside the lumpia. And the objective is, is to get out all the oil. That way your lumpia doesn't become oily. So stand it up. Do not let it lay down. Stand it up and uh, give it time to drip. So this is the finished product. Ready for eating. It's chow time. It's been a long, long day. And like I said earlier, it yeah, I had to jump through hoops and hurdles just to get this done. So I do hope y'all gave me a like, a th thumbs up, a left me a good comment, shared this video, and, you know, all the good, good stuff. I sure do appreciate it, and I, I truly, truly appreciate y'all, too. Okay, so now since you've had it standing up for about a good 5, 7, 10 minutes, giving it time for to drip all that oil out, now you can lay it down on a plate and um, start enjoying it. Now, I do want to give you a tip. Whatever you do... Do not wrap the lumpia in the saran wrap, the plastic wraps, the foil. Do not wrap it while it's still hot or warm. Because the condensation or the heat, you know, the heat rises. The heat will rise into the plastic, the saran wrap or the the foil. And it will, um, you know, produce a condensation which will turn around and uh, drip back into the lumpia which will make the wrapper soggy so while it's still warm or hot don't wrap it after it cools off if you need to wrap it like say you're bringing it somewhere put a paper towel over it and then you can wrap it that way if there's any condensation instead of the water dripping onto the lumpia it'll drip uh you know, the, the paper towel will catch it. All right, so this concludes this video. God bless you all, and thanks for watching.